guys, so I am super duper excited because I have a very special desk. Get desk. This is a very special desk. I use it all the time. My cousin Christina is sitting on my bed and she's just laughing at me. She's not even, she's watching Brada Kamara's because I got her to watch it. Yeah. But <laughs> she's just looking at me like I'm an idiot. Okay, so hold on. I have a very special guest, not desk, and he's right here. Everybody say hi to Nanahorn. This is old Tim. He hasn't changed his outfit in the last like two years, but no one's judging. No one. Christina's judging, but I'm not. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, so I have brought Niall out because I'm doing a review and kind of like a demo of a very exciting product. This is the One Direction Midnight Memories Collection makeup set, and I was sent this by Brandbacker and Mark Wins, which is the brand that created this, to do a review on it, which I'm about to do, because I'm actually very pleased. A lot of makeup, like, you would expect to be very play kind of oriented, not really for actual use, but this did exceed my expectations. And it's also, I think, because Merkwins makes Wet n Wild, so the products, a lot, Wet n Wild's a lot of great products, so kind of transferred into this as well. Okay. <laughs> Christina's like now listening with only one headphone so she can listen to me blabble. Because you love me? Actually, because this one's busted, so that doesn't <laughs> make a difference. So yeah, so I'm super excited, and I'm just going to do the demo first, and then I'm going to give you a review of the whole thing. And if you want some more in-depth information, I know this pal this came out already, so you can buy it in stores. I have a whole blog, and I'll link about this, and there used to be a giveaway, but I think that giveaway ended. But they'll all be down below, so you guys can check that out. So the look I went for was a very neutral, kind of statementized, that makes any sense. I really, really like the way it turned out. Um... It's like gray and pink and then bold liner. And yeah, I love it. You can see Niall's top. He's a very special guest. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be using is their little eyeshadow palette. It comes with four shadows and then one cream. And then it also comes with a little um, sponge applicator and little brush applicator. Which I like when they give you a brush applicator too because it's nice for blending if you're on the go. And there's no mirror. But those are the shades in the Midnight Memories one. And while the shades are really nice, I didn't, wouldn't be able to complete a whole look just using these. Just personally, what I look for in a look, I can't. So I did go into my Lancome palette and just grabbed this cream white. And I'm just going to apply that all over my lid with a fluffy brush. And I just like this because it gives me something to blend the colors into along with priving, providing some color and it's also going to bring up to my brow bone so it will highlight my brow bone as well. So it's kind of doing a lot. Next I'm just going to go in with a thing and you can totally use the one that the set comes with. I just for tutorial sakes, I like the longer one because I lay in my hands, not like next to my eye. I, it, it's completely off topic. But I'm just going to grab the pink, which is Don't Forget Where You Belong, which I don't remember what song that is. Is that bad? And I'm just going to apply this to my lid. really have some nice pigment going on as you can see and then I'm going to grab this brush and the gray the darker mid-tone gray which is called half a heart I'm gonna put this in my outer V and then I'm just going to grab this one which is probably my favorite shade in this whole collection. Hmm. That's my phone. But yeah, this is probably my, this is called Little White Lies. You don't really get, I get, kind of guess the, guess the name goes with it. But um, it's probably my favorite color in the whole palette because it's so versatile. But the pigmentation is definitely there and it it's pretty much rocks. So I'm just going to grab that on a fluffy brush and blend it into my crease to make sure everything looks cohesive. Okay. 
Next, I'm going to tight line my eye using the black crayon that comes in the set. And the name for this, if you need the names for everything, it's all on the lid of the tin. And this, the name for this is Better Than Words. And it's just like a, I would say it's almost black, but it's not a very opaque black crayon that you can use to draw on your body. And it's in a wooden pencil kind of form, which I think is going to be very interesting when you try to sharpen because I never had to do like this before. So I'm just going to tight line my eye. And you guys can look away. I just edited a video where I was tight lining and it looked creepy. So... And as you can see, when I tight line, I got a little bit of my waterline, which I really like the way it looks. It looks really, like, rocker-esque, I think. I don't know. Okay, so now I'm just going to line my eyes. Uh, this set doesn't come with the actual liquid liner, which is usually my go-to kind of thing. So I'm just going to use this one from Revlon. This is the Colorstay one. I'm just going to line my eyes in this wing kind of formation. Hopefully I can do it right. So I finished my eyeliner and it comes not as I wanted, but whatever. And then I'm going in with the mascara, which is probably my top two favorite things in the set. And I think it's very similar to the Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara, which I love that mascara, so I guess that's kind of why I've taken such a liking to this mascara. But this is called Little Black Dress, which I love that song, so Little Black Dress. It's also very similar to my current favorite, which is um, the It's So Big by Elizabeth Mott Mascara, which is my... I'm loving it. It's a very wet forming look, just like the Elizabeth Mott one. And then it's also... Like, the brushes are almost similar, except the Elizabeth Mott one goes in tapered a little bit. It's like more of an hourglass shaped, but not by much. And then I'm just going to go in with the lips, and this is going to go with the best song ever lipstick which I love. cause this song I'm really feeling this song that's the wrong best song ever but so yeah that is the completed look I love it I think it looks fantabulous and yeah so I'm just going to put my stuff back on the box and I'm going to give you guys a little more of a review kind of thing. So this kit retails for $29, which I think is a very good deal because you're getting six products plus a little bonus, which I find, okay, pretty good. And it comes in this really nice tin. Um, mine broke, though. It's really easy to fix if you have skills. Um, it's just that the little pointy part here came out, so whatever. The inside of the case has looks that you can do with the different shadows. And then it gives you a little bit... It says, create your midnight memories, rocker girl looks, plus many more. So I guess it kind of really does go with the theme. Um, it also gives you the name for the eyeliner, lipstick, and nail polish. And the lip gloss, too. And it shows you the, two, the color that it changes into. Uh, the sketch things. And yeah, that's pretty much all that's on this piece here. And then you get this guy, which is, it would usually be attached, but we'll just ignore that. Then you comes with this little plastic to help keep everything secure. And there you go. Everything is really nicely arranged inside this tin. And it has like a very brick kind of pattern, which I think is really cool. Um, let's go with, I guess we would say the star of the show, or like the main focus would be the eyeshadow. And you get, again, I'm going to say you have the five shadows I just dropped the brush and the cream in the middle as you can see I made a pretty good dent in this with this one in the middle I've been playing with it a lot that's midnight memories and I'm just going to show you my favorite way to use it because I didn't show you in the tutorial which I was meant to I'm sorry I forgot I'm just going to grab a little brush and I'm going to grab midnight memories which is the silvery thing and I'm just going to put it on my lower lash line It comes with this dark, it looks shimmery, but I wouldn't, I would say it's matte with a couple sparkles of black. And then this shimmery gray color, there. The pink, 
which I also really like because it's unexpected in this kind of palette. And then, how many fingers do I have this guy? The gray, which is slightly chalky, but the pigmentation makes up for that. And then the cream. So as you can see, the pigmentation for all these shadows is pretty much on point. I am in love with each pigment. They all have their own distinct kind of, like, finish, I would say. Though most of them do come off as majority matte, which I like. Um, and the shimmer you can use as a cream shadow, which I not my kind of thing, but you could. Or you can use on the lower lash line like I did today, and I like it like that. Overall, I think that if you can just buy this palette alone, I would totally pick it up because I think that it is a great little package, but you cannot do a lot of things just with this. I think if they had a more cream tone in here, but again, it's not supposed to be anything too big. And plus they're guys, come on, how much credit are we going to give them for makeup? Um, but yeah, so I really like that. Next, let's go on to the eyeliner crayon. And again, this is in the color Better Than Words, and this is the supposed black crayon. And I'm just going to swatch it there. And even next, like, the black shadow, it's not as black. It has, like, here, I'm going to put this here. It has a more of a gray kind of tone. It's in the midst of these. And it does smudge really easily, I find. Which, you guys are like, well, then why did you put on your waterline? Like, seriously, what the hell? You're so sponsored. Like, oh my god. I just really like the way it looks on my waterline. Because I think that it gives you kind of that smudgy rocker edge look. So don't think I'm just doing this because I need to. But I really like the way it looks. I don't like the way that it... I wish this was a twist-up pencil. I feel like that would work a lot more into its advantage. But it is really good, and you can also use it to, like, in the outer V. I tried that one day, and then just blend it out. That worked out really well, too. So you can totally use that for that. Next, I'm going to go on to the mascara. I already said that I really like this mascara. It's very comparable to my two current favorite mascara. Well, well my current favorite mascara and the Mega Plush, which I adore. And the way that it gives you that natural-esque full long lash kind of look so if you're looking for something super dramatic this is not your cup of tea sorry this is not your cup of tea but if you're looking for something in that kind of the more natural length and volume you can totally love this and just an FYI all the sets come with the same um whatever this is called mascara which is Little black dress on onto the room. Little black dress. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. No. Okay. Next, let's go into lips. Let's go to the one I used first, which was lipstick. When I was looking online, just looking at all three collections, I was like, this is probably the one at lipstick out of the three that I want the most. I really like the Take Me Home eyeshadow palette the best because it's more my kind of colors but I definitely wanted this lipstick because it was I don't know the lighting is really weird in this video I don't know why and then when I first applied this I found that it had a very like plasticky thick kind of consistency so it was kind of hard to apply but after using it quite a few times I have felt that it kind of gets warm to you and it kind of works a lot nicer and goes on a lot smoother as you use it a little more the color is this bright classic red which I adore and the color itself wears really really nicely I can get maybe four hours and it will have worn off but it still looks kind of good sure if you have, I keep doing that the outside was gonna be a little more prominent but if I kind of not do that as much as I usually do it wears off really nicely and really evenly which I really like Next is the lip gloss. This is the one that I was the most intrigued about. So, why is because it's a liquid light lip gloss, is what they call it, which means it UV light it changes color. Christina, UV light. That's the sun, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the sun. That's the yeah. So if you go outside in the sun, it changes color. I, it's not really sunny here. Um, like even now. There's only sunny breaks. It's majority cloudy, so I couldn't really get to see the whole effect of that. I thought it totally thought it was like um, 
black light sensitive. I don't know why, where I got that idea. But there's the swatch. It is a gorgeous color. It's not something I would recommend wearing on top of another product. If you want this, you want only this. It's not going to sit well on top of other products, I find. It also has a slightly more grittier texture because of all the glitter that it has. But I think that just adds to it because it looks so pretty. And this is the pigmentation that is like, here I'll show you a single swatch. It is a super pigmented lip gloss. Like guys, it's unreal how pigmented this guy is. So you gotta be really careful with that too. Next, let's talk about what I have on my nails. This is the nail polish in the scent and I got right now. And in fact, when One Direction was performing right now in their Toronto August 1st concert, they were crying because we all held up signs, it was amazing. Um, but this is a gunmetal gray kind of color. And again, you wouldn't expect a nail polish to be really well. I've had this on for about three days now, and I've only had minor tip, kind of break chippage. Nothing major has happened, which is really weird for me, because I have really chippy nails, if that make it, makes any sense, whatever. My nails chip at like, I touch something and it's chipped. I'm like, are you kidding me? But these have lasted really well. And I actually really like the way that it looks. This, it's about, depend, it could be one to three coats. If you go really thick, you can have one coat. But I did that on my toe and that, that worked out really nicely. But if you want three nails, I like to do it a lot thinner of a coat. So you do need two or three. But if you go a little more goopy, you can go with one. So it's kind of an up to you kind of thing. And then lastly, the bonus of the set is this guy here. This is their five-piece decorator stencil set. And I love the way they did this. It's like matte black and then the writing is all glossy, which I think looks really nice. Um, and then it comes with a bunch of stencils. I have not used any of these. I don't really know how I would use them. So there's diamonds, crowns, lightning bolts, some triangles and then some arrows. So I guess if you want, you can totally like draw them onto you. And if I would have got this before the concert, I would have totally just drawn with the other pencil on me, um, which I thought would have been really fun. But I don't, you can also do it on notebooks, I guess. So you can, if you want to do like a little DIY back to school, which I don't really get why people do those, like seriously, it's so much work. Um, but you can definitely use that for the year. So for $29, you get, I'm not gonna count stencils because that's your bonus. You're gonna get two for six products, three for eyes, two for lips, one for nails. So you're getting most of your face. All you really need is like a foundation or concealer kind of thing. And that's pretty much all you really need. So I think you're getting a great deal for this kit. And plus if you do. Christina, what's 30 divided by six? Five, right? It's $5 a piece, which I think is a real steal, especially for the lipstick, and I really think the mascara. Because even at $5 a piece, it's still cheaper than the Maybelline one, which... Ooh, ooh. And I actually think the wear is really nice, and blah, 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 and yeah. So that is my finished demo and review on the One Direction set. I hope it was informative. If it was, you gotta go give it a thumbs up right now. Niall says you have to give it a thumbs up. You guys don't want to disappoint this face. Okay, how would you be able to live with yourself? You won't. So go give it a thumbs up right now. I'm watching you. Did you click yet? Good job, Niall approves. And then you can also subscribe if you want to see more videos if you liked this one, which I did, I guess. I love Moe, though. I didn't just look at so um, <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video, and I'll see you guys next time.